as we inch closer to the W League Western Conference playoffs. Today, a massive matchup between the Sounders women and the Pally Blues. History between the two clubs for years now, right up at the top of the table. And again today, a matchup between two teams that sit in first and second place in the West. It's the Blues and the Sounders here at Starfire. Welcome everybody into Starfire. A light drizzle here today, but nice and warm, perfect conditions for soccer. And we've got a perfect matchup between the Sounders women and the Pally Blues. Well, every time you ask a coach, they'll tell you every game matters, right? Everyone's important. They're all worth the same amount of points. But today's game, a little bit more importance. Not only are you playing going to be the biggest rival in the Western Conference for the Sounders women, the Pally Blues, but you're also going up against a team that sits right now four points behind the Sounders women in the standings. And the Sounders have played one extra game. So essentially, it's just one point between the two teams that have already played once this season. Well, John Billings here with you, and it's going to be a fun one this afternoon. So we've got this matchup. And it goes as we get closer and closer to the W League Western Conference Finals. The top two teams in the conference will play one game as a playoff match to go to the National Final Four. Now the importance of being that top seed is you'll get to host. So the Sounders looking to stay on top here today. And that would mean we'd have one more matchup here at Starfire at the end of the season for a chance to go to the National Final Four. Well, I asked both coaches just moments ago about the matchup, about the rivalry, and about what we're going to see here today. Uh, every game in this conference is uh, very difficult. I know it sounds like a broken record, but it's uh, it's very true. I mean, in every game we said to the, the team today, every game poses a different challenge. And the challenge against a very experienced team like Pally is, is for us to be able to keep the ball. Uh, I don't think we did a good enough job uh, on Friday, um, as well as that we, we know we can. So that's going to be a, a key for us today, to be able to keep the ball and, again, impose our will on the game. Uh, obviously, it's all matches are important, especially when you – dig a 0-1 hole for yourself in the beginning of the season. Um, you know, today I think it's it's obviously important to try to uh, create more space in between us and the third place team, potentially maybe leapfrog Seattle if we if we can, if we can perform well enough. And, uh, you know, at that point we'd start looking at the possibilities of hosting because obviously in a way playoff game on a flight is, you know, a bit challenging. So uh, obviously the game is really important for us, but I think with all the adversity we've had with injury and, um, and some other uh, school conflicts early on in the season. Right now, playoffs is really the goal. Finishing first would be fantastic. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody remembers who won the actual championship game. So nobody remembers that we had a good season last year because we lost the penalty. So, um, you know, for us, we just want to have a good performance today, try to get a little bit better than we were last week and uh, see where it takes us. A couple changes from the game on Friday night, and when you look all the way back to the previous matchup between these two teams in June on the 9th, we have four changes for the starting lineup for the Sounders. Up top, Janine Becky, Jenna Richardson, and Rachel Mersick. Melissa Busk, Tafara Pulse, Emily Ryder in the midfield. Well, for the Pally Blues in goal, Anna Piccarelli. The left to right across the back four is Caprice Didasco, Sasha Andrews, Aliyah Guani and Elizabeth Eddy in the midfield. The question will be, is Pally happy to take a draw here on the road? Still a lot of game left to be played. Buis clips it over the top. The volley comes in, and it's off the post and in. Well, Erin McNulty a couple steps to her left, and it looked like she thought the ball was going wide. Actually came right back. Good possession here from Pally, working their way into the attacking third. Now French, goal scorer, cuts inside, tries the shot, and has two. Excellent play to open up a yard of space on her stronger right foot. Turn Eddie, turn Eddie. Stretch her leg. Stretch her leg. Good slip ball, Good slip ball. Jenna Richardson, Jenna Richardson. In behind. In behind. She's got, got, got her left. She's got her left. She'll try She'll it. She'll try it. And it ends up, right, ends down up right down the middle. Our pulls there. Pulls there. there. A little bit of cover. A cover. Goes one, goes one, one, one. Now fields. Now fields. Oh, nobody reacted. 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 Nobody reacted.
And Sounders just, Sounders sluggish, just not sluggish, responding, not responding, as, responding the as the ball was away. poked away. And at this and level, at this if level, you do that, you're do going that, you're to be... A couple bit of tugs on the back of her jersey as well, but the ball skirts three. French in there, 1v1 and the save from McNulty. And again to the Cal Bear. Ball put across, looked like Campbell was gonna try to take it down off her chest. Boosk will try the shot, and it's blocked away. Peterson was waiting for it. Now back to French again. Killian, ball clipped up to Nuzalese, heads it down to the corner, and McNulty pounces on it. You can see sometimes players slide where they're most comfortable. Sarah Campbell looks up, trying to find the run of Janine Becky. She's in behind, has one to shoot at, at the back post, and it's off the post. Could this be one here? Ball to the near post, not cleared. Who's there, who can poke it home? Becky on the head. Valley Blues will go within one. They played one last game. Here's Janine Becky. Can she put one on the board? Early shot. And I think definitely something that we take away from this game is, uh, like I said, you can't take any game lightly. And I think um, coming off of Friday when we had uh, particularly more time on the ball to take, you know, three, four touches today, we had, you know, one or two at most. So I think um, definitely in the first, 10, 15 minutes that kind of caught us off guard. And uh, for the first five, I would say, you know, we went at them and kind of got them on their heels. But, you know, they came right back at us, scored three really amazing goals. And um, at halftime, you know, Coach Busby said, let's go out there with character and compete and have fun. And that's what we did in the second half. And, you know, the subs that came on for us brought a spark and energy that we needed. And, um, you know, we went at them, and it's not the result we need. But, um, you know, we're still at the top, so that's good. You know, like you said they have four games, we have three more. So, you know, we went out and we see what happens. If you take anything from this game, you know, what is it or what are you maybe going to take? If you do match up with this team again down the line, what are you telling each other in the locker room before you head out? You know, play as a team. I think um, always play as a team. We had sometimes where we were playing as individuals, and then when we came in together as a team, that's when we got our opportunities. And, you know, being positive and not being negative, that's definitely, you know, it's easy enough to say, but it's harder to do. You know, you're right. Um, the first half wasn't our best, but we came out here in the second half and really fought, and that was the Sounders that we're used to, and that's really all you can take away. You know, the, the first half, it's kind of like it was two games. First half, 3-0, second half, 0-0, zero, zero. Um, and it's just kind of a mentality thing. It's our character, it's who you are as a person and how we are, how we react as a team, and that's really all we can do from this. You know, it's a good learning experience. You win some, you lose some. You know, I'm just proud. This is our, it's our first loss of the season, so that means that, you know, we've got a a longer season ahead of us. So it's it's looking good. It was kind of a little downfall, but stuff like this is what we come back from. So Still some good opportunities, some close chances in the second half. Yourself being a part of that forward trio, uh, what do you guys see as maybe that last little bit to get over the hump and get some goals? You know, I think it has to do a lot with how we play um, as a midfield line with our forward line because, you know, we can make the runs, but there has to be people in the box and the, the midfielders can work, you know, hard, but if we don't make those runs. So it's that connection between the two of us, between the two lines and even the defensive line too. Um, I think as forwards, we also just need to be a little bit more calm in that box because sometimes, like today, it was we got when we when we got there because it was a you know very few times we got there in the first half at least rush you know just kick it try and get that ball in there second half we did better we got more crosses off um, so yeah it was good baby steps, baby steps yes. <laughs> Well, not the result that the Sounders were looking for here today. 3-0 is the final score. The Pally Blues take the win and take a, a good grasp on the top spot in the Western Conference. The Sounders still with one point ahead in the standings, but Pally with one game in hand. So three left to be played for the Sounders, four left to be played for Pally, including a big rivalry matchup against the L.A. Strikers next week. For the Sounders, next time out is a Sunday matchup, June 30th, right here at Starfire against the Colorado Rapids women. Cheer them on at 7 p.m. here, and you're looking to get back to their winning ways. Well, for all of our crew and myself, John Billings, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.